Same old, same old. Just the Doctor and Clara Oswald in the TARDIS. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my first trailer breakdown video. Uh, the new trailer for Doctor Who came out yesterday. Whatever the date is, I'm not actually sure. I've lost count. But here's my trailer breakdown for it. So you've just seen a clip from it there because like that's the most awesome clip. But now I'm going to do a full length breakdown of the whole trailer. Uh, start to finish and basically just say what I think and what might be for the next series so see you in a minute so we start off with the shot of the TARDIS console nothing out of the ordinary here the doctor bursts into the control room remarking sorry I'm late my guess is that he's out on some form of adventure and he's just escaped being captured or killed by some form of alien and he had a strict plan to get back to the TARDIS in a certain amount of time, but he failed to do so and thus is late. Now we can also see here a slight modification to the control room that wasn't in the previous series, and that's the placement of more round things on the lower walls of the control room. Uh, and that's probably because of the Doctor's remark in deep breath. I'm not entirely convinced myself. I think there should be more round things on the walls. I used to have a lot of round things. I wonder where I put them. Skipping back to that shot of the Doctor, he's clearly wearing his new velvet coat in this shot and again a few more throughout the trailer. This combined with his more fluffy hair uh, over the shorter cut that he had last series makes him to me look more like the third Doctor, like it's nice to see him looking more like a classic Doctor. Again nothing out of the ordinary here, just recycled footage of the 2010 to present TARDIS flying through space. Now here we see Clara Oswald talking to the new girl, or possibly not new. Uh, we've seen so much about saying... He hasn't got a plan yet. He will have. Which sums up every episode apart from a handful in the revived series and also the classic series. Their clothes suggest a Viking or Norse theme, I guess, going by also the background and also some other things in the trailer. Now these giant killer robots look very interesting, I can't say much about them but they're new, we've not seen them before. However, in a moment I will explain a thing about them which I realised this morning when I was drinking my tea. Now here we see an actual Viking behind the two. Uh, note that Clara has her blue collar in the pre uh, just like in the previous shot, meaning that these killer robots must be in the Viking episode. The Doctor staring down a corridor, of course looking very dramatic, and the Doctor looks almost scared in a way. Not be spectacular. <laughs> Here's a sea serpent, again looking like something from Norse mythology, and if you look in the background of the scene, Viking shields can be seen, so I bet they're from the same episode as the giant killer robots and the uh, Viking shots of Clara and the Doctor and the girl. <laughs> Creepy hand-eye things, probably from a scary episode, I don't have too much to say, but you know, I guess they have good hand-eye coordination. No? Okay, moving on. Now something I didn't expect, here's Riggsy from the episode Flatline last series, the graffiti artist that helped Clara defeat the Boneless. Um, I hope he's back as a temporary companion like for a few episodes because I liked him and he was a pretty cool guy. The Zygons are back, yay! Maybe a nod to the 50th somewhere in that episode because you know the Zygons, we've not seen them since. We still don't really know what happened between uh, the real Kate and the Zygon Kate and blowing up London, obviously that didn't happen, but, you know, we don't really know what the outcome of that was. And here's Clara looking very official with her motorbike and her bazooka, nothing out of the ordinary here either. But seriously, why has she got a bazooka? Like, possibly alien threat? Who am I kidding, most likely. Again, here's the mystery girl, with what looks like the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. Now, at first I thought this was the Maldivarium, but it isn't because after re-watching Good Man Goes to War, I realised it looks nothing like the Maldivarium. Oh well, it looks like an alien city, or possibly like a spaceship fleet, but either way it looks pretty epic. Now, this thing, what could it be? A teleport? A progenitor? A cloning machine? A water cooler? Who knows? So here's Missy, I don't know how she could have survived, but I do know Cybermen's lasers are red. A blue laser hit Missy in Death in Heaven, and Cybermen lasers don't disintegrate people, therefore I think the whole thing behind her surviving was that she teleported away in Death in Heaven over actually being killed. The Doctor gets slapped by an alien. I'm the Doctor! Here we see the post-Time War Dalek. 
Daleks in the background, some classic ones, and to the left, a black Dalek. Whether or not it's Dalek Sec or not, I have no idea. Possibly, this is Scaro, and that is Dalek Sec before anything we, that happens in Army of Ghosts or Doomsday or anything like that. Or it's another black Dalek with a similar high ranking. And I save people! An excellent line from the Doctor, almost like the man who stops the monster speech in Flatline. Here we see Clara looking quite scared in the middle of the Dalek, so possibly she's a hostage similar to Rose in the Parting of the Ways. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Here. Now. Here's a Viking dude with these robots. I think it's a little robot of Sherwood, a person from history allying with killer robots from space. Maybe he's an alien too. We have no idea and we'll probably not find out until 19th of September. Once again, we see the Doctor riding a horse. Yay! This is where your story ends! Again, this line ties in with the others, like the Pandorica speech, flatline. Basically, the Doctor laying down the law. If the Doctor doesn't like it, it will stop. Now, 10 points to guessing who this is. This is Osgood! Yay! She's back! She's not dead. Again, uh, she's returned from Death and Heaven. A theory of mine is that the one we saw on the effectively Air Force One uh, was actually a Zygon, a Zygon clone of her. And that's the one we saw vaporized. Or that Missy's device was actually a teleporter and the dust was like a teleport exchange, again similar to the laser beam in Bad Wolf and the Parting of the Ways, that she wasn't actually killed but she was teleported. <laughs> Whoa, the cowardly lion breathes fire. What is Here we see the Daleks again, the Dalek Supreme from Stolen Earth, as well as the Emperor Guard uh, at the back with the Black Dome from the classic series. Running. Same old, same old, just the Doctor and Clara Oswald in the TARDIS! Now this is important, I hope that the relationship between the two returns to a better one, unlike Series 8. It's almost like a father-daughter relationship, and I think that would be really nice. Wasn't that exciting? Uh, comment or subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, link to the full length trailer is down below uh, in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. I've been Brendan, aka Newland and Toby. Goodbye.